I'm curious for you guys. I like throwing a curveball at the beginning. If someone has never seen anything that you guys have ever done, what's the first thing that you want them to watch and why? First thing that honestly popped into my head was Vanya on 42nd Street. Um, I'm not in that. And as far as I can remember, Will is not in that either. But it's just great. The first thing I'd like them to see, oh, I don't know if I can tell the story, but I had a very short-lived cameo on a CBS show. Um, what was the name of the show? Dang it. My Never. Few Dads? No. BJ and the Bear? No. I'm thinking of, those are both uh, Greg Evigan shows. Sorry. Yeah. Just, anyway. That's where it's as far as I, I can't tell. The, I'm sorry. I had, I had a really good reference, but I can't think of the show. It, it's totally cool. I'm set up as a, what looks like going to be like a, a recurring lead. And I'm, a, I'm murdered at the end of the episode. <laughs> really? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look this up. I know up. what that um, is. Me too. I, I'm going to be looking this up after the interview. Um, I want to, jumping into why I get to talk to you guys today, I want to start with congratulations. I've seen the first four episodes, and you guys are both fantastic in it. Um, the thing that really struck me was when I heard you guys were making this, I'm like, this can't be true. I'm never going to believe a psychologist could do this to this person. But as I watch the series, I'm like, oh, I totally buy into this. It's these little micro moments that... Yeah. You know, and can you sort of talk about that aspect of their relationship? Well, I think they're, you know, they are, it's a close relationship. They, I think they care about each other. Um, I mean, it is a, a, a patient and therapist relationship that certainly crosses boundaries. And, um, and over the course of 30 years or so, um, I think what starts out as a, as, a, as a pretty solid, good relationship just takes a bit of a left turn. Um, it's hard to, I guess, talk about without giving too much away. Um, but, uh, but it was, it, it was this, it was the kind of the relationship between the two men and what makes them both kind of human that we were interested in exploring and not so much just this vicious story that was true. Yeah. You, I mean, you touched on the micro moments. I mean, it's, it's analogous to, you know, Marty's first introduction to Ike and their first therapy sessions are constructive and loving and soothing much the same way when you put a frog into a pot of warm comfortable water and the heat slowly gets turned up to where it's too late before Marty realizes he's he's been boiled <laughs> that's, that's a very good analogy um you guys are obviously both offered a lot of scripts and a lot of projects what was it for each of you that says that said, I have to do this or I want to do this? Well, I think a big part of it was getting to work with each other again uh, in this way, uh, something that wasn't kind of, you know, super arch, you know, in your face comedy. This, it, the challenge of, of playing real people in, a, uh, in such a unique story like this. Um, to get to work with uh, Michael Showalter, uh, Georgia Pritchard, um, uh, it just was, it was very enticing. And I, I had, for me personally, I, I hadn't ever really done uh, an, a limited series before. So it was a, it was a, a new, new experience for me. Yeah, when I heard the podcast, which, you know, right when it came out, Michael Showalter had called me and said, have you heard this? Listen to this. There's something to this. What do you yeah. think? Will had heard it around the same time. We both heard that each other was interested in it. And then, oh, God, we all do it together. I think it just really stemmed from a fascinating story, really interesting characters set in a really unique and interesting place. Uh, and it, it was riveting. It was riveting to listen to. And, it, and we both kind of thought these would be really, um, in addition to the fact that it wasn't a broad comedy, but a complex and nuanced uh, dark comedy or with really dramatic elements. It was just a in, really interesting character study. So and, and, and riveting because 
you know, as, as you kind of said, you, you think, well, this is so absurd. How could anyone allow themselves to be put in this position? Uh, and, and then as you go along, you see that, oh, it's, we've, we've all felt vulnerable at times. We've all felt like we needed someone to talk to. And once that person gains your trust, it's easy to be manipulative. I got to stop there. I'm just going to say you guys were both fantastic in this. Can't wait to finish it. Good luck with the rest of your interviews. Thank you. Thanks, Steve.